A New Hampshire Powerball winner fighting to stay anonymous, and she has taken her case to court today. At stake, her privacy and a jackpot of nearly $560 million. WBC's Anna Redis Rodriguez is here now with the latest. Anna Redis. Chris and Kate, the hearing of Jane Doe versus the New Hampshire Lottery Commission began in Nashua Superior Court nearly two hours ago, and it's still going on. The winning $560 million ticket remains in that woman's possession and has not been redeemed. The woman signed the ticket. As soon as she learned that she won with her name, not realizing that that allows the Lottery Commission to publicly identify her. She then filed a complaint asking to stay anonymous. But the Assistant Attorney General argues anonymity jeopardizes the integrity of the games. And Jane Doe's attorney argues his client deeply values her privacy and that placing the money in a trust has been done before. In 2016, a $487 million prize in New Hampshire was claimed through a trust. But the individual who possessed that ticket, the winning ticket, prior to signing it in her own name, consulted counsel, got advice, and then she put it in the name of a trust, all consistent with New Hampshire law. In a public lottery, when someone wins $560 million, the public has a right to know that there is a real winner behind that ticket. Lawyers for Jane Doe say that she's created a trust and wants state lottery officials to replace the identifying information with that of the trust. The Lottery Commission says any amendments of the ticket will make it invalid. David Robichaud is following this in the courtroom and will bring you updates starting tonight on WBZ News at 5. Chris? 